Tommy Beetle face back to a brand new video. Today I'm gonna be pulling 100 Dark Matter cards. You heard that right. I'm going bro. But before that, we got the JSR balloon wall. Yeet. Alright, let me grab these bad boys. Shout out to Gabriel Bagabaldo. I hope I said your name right. And shout out to NFL Clips. If you guys wanna be in the balloons, all you gotta do is subscribe to the channel and then leave a comment on the video. Give me one of my balloons, fam. Now, 2K has released a new box called the Goat X Invincible Deluxe Hemp Pack Box. It has every Invincible card in it. It has every Goat card in it. So from the looks of it, every pack is a guaranteed Invincible player or Goat player. Fam, the amount of money I have wasted trying to get Invincible and Goat players and then they release a pack with a guaranteed one every time. This is absurd, but I, I have to open them. These are the most juice packs of all time. We're gonna see how many goat cards we can get out of here. Uh, we got Wilt Chamberlain. This this pack is going to absolutely destroy the auction house, but hey, there's only a month left of 2k and they just said F it. <laughs> this last month, we're just giving it to you all. Alright, this is poll number two, Jimmy Butler. I don't actually think I had him. I'm definitely gonna have every invincible player after this. Oh my god, no way, it's a dark matter. <laughs> Whoa! Sorry, I was just my excitement. <laughs> Like, if I, I guess I'm only excited for the GOAT cards. I have everyone in the game at this point, too. So, by Anthony Edwards, welcome to the squad. Oh, is that Kobe? Number eight, USA Basketball. Wait, is that the Invincible? Wait, am I tripping? Bruh. It's Scotty Pip. It's Invincible. Whoa, Chris Paul, welcome to the squad. I, I actually cannot believe they released these packs. Uh, Low-key, it's nice, but I also feel like it's low-key a smack in the face, like, to all the other packs that they've released and people have spent money on, because it literally devalues all of them. And we get back-to-back -back crispy peas, not another, Scotty Pippen. Dude, honestly, my no-money spent team would have been thriving right now with the way, like, the auction house prices must be. As we get packed, number eight, it is, is that Clay Thompson. Let's go. And we get another Chris Paul. That is 10 dark matters we are tenth of the way there the real goal today is to see how many goat cards we can pull though because pulling a goat card it's different fam those cards are legendary especially if you get another goat lebron Ooh, i never actually pulled the goat lebron so if i pull him today i'm gonna be stoked tim duncan the big fundamental word on the street man grew up on an island but he was scared of sharks so he started playing basketball all right boys i tweeted out asking for y'all to give me a little q a because we're gonna be here for a while to pull 100 but we will do it it was this, Isaiah Thomas, probably one of the worst Invincibles. I don't like short players. And then, Scotty Pippen. What do you think your favorite YouTube collab is? So, it's recorded, but I have not released it yet, and I'll give y'all some hints on who it's with. Recently, he was in a boxing match, and he lived in Puerto Rico. That's my only hint, but we have a collab coming one day in the future. And then we, I keep pulling Scotty, but that's okay. Do you think you will ever get into Madden? Probably not, just because I don't watch football. I've never really been a fan of NFL. I do enjoy throwing the football with the boys, flag football, all that. Like, it's a fun sport to play, but watching it wise, I don't really care for it too much. Both Super Bowls, I dead ass either fall asleep or now that I'm old enough, I just get absolutely bashed. So that's how I feel about football. Pack number nine, who is it gonna be? And we get Manu Ginobili. Someone said, do you actually like 2K? So when I did the 2K week where I was like, all right, I'm gonna just post 2K for a week, see how y'all like it for the fans. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of hated it because I was so ass, but then the more I played it, the more I enjoyed it. Cause I was like, oh, I know how to cheese now. I'm not just getting destroyed every match. And once I started winning a lot, it got fun again. John Stockton, welcome to the squad. Now I'm like fully in into it and I actually love it. And also the thing is like, for me, I've been doing YouTube now, like as a job for like six, almost seven years, you could say. I feel like I'm at the point where I'm just doing what I enjoy. Like I'm not trying to force out videos I don't enjoy. All right, here we go. We've already opened 20. Yes, I do actually enjoy the 2K. And I am hyped for the next one. If I don't enjoy it anymore, I'll probably stop posting. Simple as that. But I actually have been enjoying it, especially my team. Park, don't enjoy it all. That's why I only did one video on it. All right, and we get the man, Jimmy Butler. How is your mental health doing? <laughs> I love these questions. I'm good, man. Except when I have to buy PC. <laughs> How many pets have I had in my life? As we get Damian Lillard Invincible. We still haven't pulled a go card. That was pack 33, still no go cards. And I got a question. How many pets have you had in your life? Dude, I really have to sit down and think about that. My mom owned a pet company growing up that she eventually sold. But because of that, I had two tortoises. I've probably had eight dogs, maybe. Okay, we have Barkley, Uptown, Humphrey, Cow Dog, Sweetie, Treasure, 
Cooper. <laughs> I'm just naming animals. That's six right there. I feel like I'm missing a dog. Cookie, or Cookie's James' dog. I mean, he's in my life. I say Cookie, he's a family dog. Probably like seven dogs. Unless I'm missing one when I was really young. My mom's had at least six cats growing up. I had my own cat growing up. But unfortunately, passed away at a young age. Very sad about that. See, so yeah, I probably had like seven cats growing up. Seven dogs, two tortoises. Definitely had a goldfish at one point that probably died pretty quick. <laughs> Tim Duncan. Yeah, I had a lot of animals growing up. What is the process on making videos from the idea to the planning to the production, etc.? So, for JSR, most of the time I just sit down, I'm like, what the hell am I gonna record today? Record it, upload the files, then my team send it to the editor. I have an amazing group of editors that are super talented, awesome people. Shout out to them, they absolutely kill it, bro. The videos are a hundred times more entertaining once they give it a pass through, but they always crush it. Um, send it back to my team, we do some notes, we upload it, and it goes up. Honestly, the only way I'm able to upload the amount that I upload is because I have an amazing team around me. So for example, for the JSR videos, I record them, I upload them, and then I'll talk to my, my boy about what we're gonna title and thumbnail it, but he communicates with everyone, gets the video uploaded, so pretty much after I record it and I talk to him about the thumbnail and title, I don't see it until it goes up. You know what I'm saying? It's a very, very smooth process for JSR. For Jester, obviously the videos are a bit bigger. I'm doing three in a week. The only thing with Jester that's hard is I always have a lot of people in my videos. So just coordinating with everyone do be a struggle sometimes. I've made a lot of friends now, so I know a lot of different people that can be in the videos. I'm really trying to expand and find new people to be in my videos all the time, make new collabs, just so I can have a giant group that's always there. Like if I need someone, I'm like, oh, hit up this guy. Jester's pretty much the same thing. You know, come up with the ideas. I come up with some, my team, my boys come up with some, you know, Trav, Johnny, Jason. And then we order all the props. Like if I'm doing a big video, like making the backyard a water park, like I'll be like, yo, Jason, we're gonna do this video. Then he'll handle it. He'll talk to the people. He'll get everything set up for us to do that video. And it's like, that's really the only way I'm able to do so much in these big videos. It's hundred percent my team. I would ne never be able to do any of this alone. Like when I was alone, I was uploading like three 2K videos a week. You know, now I'm able to produce so much more content for y'all. We get a damn goat card and not 500 Scotty Pippins. You know, Trav uploads the files. My boy Fetty edits all the Jester videos. He does an absolute good job. Then my boy Rizzle will do the notes on them, send it back, and then do like a final pass and we'll upload that bad boy. That's pretty much how it works, man. I'm trying to think how many people are on the bucket squad. Yeah, there's probably around 10 people that all help me make all my content. Yeah, it's definitely a big squad. I love them. It's literally 10 people. We got the thumbnail designers. We got editors. We got all different types of people up in here. Oh my God, finally we get the big man himself, Shaquille O'Neal. I don't think we pulled him yet. Welcome to the squad. Do you have any IRL 1v1 basketball coming up? I'm supposed to play an NBA player in two hours, but I don't want to tell y'all who it is in case it falls through because sometimes it can be hard to work with schedules and get those 1v1s going. But hopefully I should have a 1v1, a really, really cool 1v1 coming out later. What is your greatest achievement to date and what is the biggest goal you have? Uh, I would say my greatest achievement would be hitting 1 billion views on the Jester channel. Like that number is unfathomable. Just a ridiculous number I never thought would be even remotely possible. And the biggest goal I have is to hopefully one day be able to hit 10 million subscribers. That is the goal. We are halfway there, boys. What are the future plans for Jester and JSR? So I'm nervous about answering this question because my, ch my plans do change a lot. As we get the man, Kevin Durant, probably one of the best invincible cards. We can sell him for a lot. Let's go. They'll probably release a guaranteed goat pack eventually too. <laughs> now this question makes me nervous to answer because I don't want to say something and then not do it. But plans right now, uh, September when the new 2K comes out, go absolutely hard for that month. Upload every day. Maybe some days do some double uploads in September. Then in October, I want to switch more of my focus from JSR to Jester. So maybe reduce the JSR uploads to maybe three a week and up the Jester videos to five a week and start a, a semi-daily vlog. As we get the man, Stephen Curry. In October, I want to switch up the content, man, because I've been doing like challenge videos for the past couple years. And I feel like, yes, they're very entertaining. Yes, they're good. I enjoy doing them, but I want to challenge myself. And you guys always love the vlogs, ask for more vlogs. So I'm like, what would happen if I daily vlog? No one da daily vlogs anymore. Like what could I accomplish? What could I do? It, it always is in my mind. It's something I always think about. So I want to just for once just go it. I'm gonna do it. Just there's a lot of things I'm nervous about with starting a daily vlog. Can we please get a goat card up in here, man? That's really what I came for, man. I just want to pull one. Who's that? Clay Tossin? We got Curry, Clay, Splash Bros, and Durant. The whole trio. Derek Rose. I actually got sauced by this Derek Rose card. Glad I got one. 
How did you like convince your parents to just let you do the YouTube life and you know quit everything and just strive to be the best YouTuber? So I had a very interesting situation where I lived at my dad's house, but my dad was always gone because he's a movie producer. So he'll be in like Europe for months at a time. He'll be in just different states around the country for months at a time. And I was pretty much alone at the house, bro. James was off to college. It was just me. And I didn't really have a social life in high school. I literally would come home and be alone and just make 2K videos. That's all I would do. The second I got home from school, I would just go home and make videos. Like when I was in school, all I could think about was what videos I was gonna make. I would do my homework at lunch and I would just go home and grind. That's pretty much all I did and I like, it was a very fortunate situation. Like I didn't have parents telling me what time to go to sleep. My parents were very chill, like the way they raised me. They kind of just let me do my thing. I was super lucky with that. But yeah, I, I just had the house to myself. Like I could do anything. I remember one kid was like, oh, you gotta throw a party at your house. And I'm like, why would I ever do that? I don't think I went to one party in high school. I didn't go to any of the dances, bro. I was pretty shy, was like very to myself and my close friends. I didn't go to school senior year of high school. And the other thing that helped me with that is my mom actually wanted to move out of California and she like still had to be there to take me to school and stuff. So she was like, oh, you want to finish a year early? Like, please do. I'm trying to leave California. I want to move to Florida. So like right when I left, she was like, all right, I'm out of here. She moved to Florida. And then I was alone in California. <laughs> but yeah, it, that gave me the opportunity to move out right there. My dad supported it. He always believed in me and I told him what I wanted to do. Like he, he knew I was making money too. So it's like he couldn't really say anything, especially since I already decided I wasn't going to college. So it was like, why go senior year? What was the first purchase you ever made with your YouTube paycheck? New equipment and VC fam. <laughs> I never spent money until I moved in with Chris. Like I only had like three pairs of shoes at that entire house. It wasn't until we like we moved to the next house that I was like, I have money. I can buy these for myself like why do I only have one pair of jeans and two pairs of shoes like I'm making good money and then I kind of went crazy and that's why I have a shoe collection now because I was like oh my god I have all this money and I never spent it on anything like all I spent it on was rent and 2k packs and food like that's literally all I spent money on for the first like two years so I just stacked my bread and then I went crazy got a bunch of shoes and now I am much smarter but I have done some dumb things in the past all right here we go pack 60 baby let's go who is it it is John Stone Stockton. Oh my god, I ran out of space in my auction house and it's strictly filled with invincible cards. That is hilarious, bro. Look how many of these dudes I got. Oh my god. What age did I lose my virginity? I think 20? That sounds about right. <laughs> I think I had my first kiss when I was 18, bro. I, <laughs> I'm a late ass bloomer, fam. I'm not even gonna cap. Ain't no shame with it. I was playing 2K, y'all. What does y'all want me to do? I ain't got no females in high school. Yeah, I love how this has turned into a q and I, I, I don't know what I could say about just pulling 100 invincibles. Yes, another Jimmy Butler, my seventh one that I'm gonna quick sell, you know? <laughs> Biggest advice for weight loss, and, and I'm gonna just say this for any goal you have. You can't just be like, oh, my goal is to lose weight, or my goal, obviously, you wanna put a, a specific number on it, so it should be like, I wanna lose 20 pounds, but to really make a goal happen, I feel like the way to do it is like, I wanna lose 20 pounds because I'll feel better about myself, I'll be happier, I'll be physically stronger I'll be able to get more done as I have more energy you know if I accomplish this goal how is it gonna affect the people around me is me losing 20 pounds is that gonna motivate the people around me too to be make themselves better whenever you make a goal you have to include an emotional attachment with it or else it's gonna be really hard to accomplish it because at the end of the day it's gonna be those days you don't want to do it it's like ah I don't want to go to the gym lose the weight but it's like for example for me I have a financial goal because I want to get my mom a house one day let's say my goal is to make a hundred thousand dollars right like oh, I'll just not work today like take a day off but it's like I want to get that to get my mom a house. So it makes it so much more meaningful for me to accomplish that goal because of like all the emotion behind that goal. That's what I've helped. And you can apply that to weight loss. You can apply that to any goal in your life. But really, you got to have that emotional reason behind it, why you're doing it. And it, it should, it should honestly, it should be for other people because I just feel like the way humans are built, we'll do more for others than ourselves, which is very interesting to think about. But it's definitely true. If you're going to work out at 7 a.m. by yourself, you might hit the snooze button. If you're going to work out at 7 a.m. with your friend, you're not going to snooze because you don't want to disappoint them but you're okay with disappointing yourself so it's just how it's just how we are as humans man so i would say definitely those are some tips man for accomplishing goals all right that is 80 goddamn invincible players yeah like when i when i did the weight loss thing or whatever when i did road to six pack 
I just wanted to get a six pack. Like I didn't care about what I weighed, anything. All I wanted was the six pack. So I like I did everything for that. And like my attachment to it was like proof to like you guys. Like I was like, people are gonna be shocked if they see me have like a six pack. I didn't have the best six pack in the world, broke my shoulder towards the end of it, but it was there. It was decent. But I was like, the whole thing I was like, bro, like people will not expect it. Like I wanna like prove people wrong. And that was I guess that one was extremely for myself. Is there a certain amount of subscribers you want, then you will retire or you in this for the long run? Definitely for the long run. I don't, I don't think I'd ever be like, when I'm hitting 5 mil, I'm quitting. No, like this is my passion. I love it. I don't think I'll ever completely stop uploading. You know, maybe I'll upload less one day, but I, mean, I love it. I just want to do as much as I can now. And I'm still like, I'm 22, y'all. I have so much to accomplish. I'm, I'm hungry. I feel like I have so much to do still. Will you ever make another Minecraft series again? I highly doubt it. Honestly, the thing with Minecraft is I played it my whole childhood. And games that I played for years, I really have a tough time getting back into them. Like, I, I was addicted to World of Warcraft growing up. When the classic got re-released of that game, I tried playing it, but dude, I just couldn't get into it. It. I don't know something about games that I've played for so long. It, it do be hard to get into I say that while I'm playing 2k Jesus that is our 90th dark matter poll of the video I know I'm not showing every single poll, but y'all know it's guaranteed. Come on. <laughs> I ain't capping. Oh my god I gotta buy VC again. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Y'all leave a like man. This ain't cheap <laughs> All right boys 91 91 Tim Duncan 92 is Derek Rose and then we get the man John Stockton. I can't believe we haven't gotten a go card fam. That's actually absurd. I need to pull seven more Isaiah Thomas 94 give me a go card fam Another Jimmy Butler 96 Damian Lillard. Oh my god a dark matter. You would never believe it. That's pack 97. Oh my god I need to buy more easy ah. All right boys pack 98 98 is Anthony Edwards. We just gotta get two more Dark Matter cards. Come on. All right, I'm buying them with VC now. I hate that they can't. You can't buy boxes with MT. Oh wow, of course. Oh no, the ones you can you pull with MT, they just don't give you Dark Matters. All right, we're gonna be here for a little bit. Yes, there it is. Pack 99. And it's the man Stephen Curry. Wow, zero goat cards today. We got one more pack though, and there it is, boys. 100 dark matters in one video y'all gotta leave a like rating for that man drop a like who is it we're ended it on clay thompson no goat cards out of a hundred pack wow that's insane ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for watching this video if you did enjoy it man please leave a like rating down below subscribe to the channel if you haven't already subscribed two other videos are popping up i'll see you in the next one and peace